Revelation. Three hours until dawn. What is that? Who is that? What the hell is going on? What the f- What is going on? Alright, what is that thing? What are we doing? There is something else going on. This is all bad. What is this? What does this say? Blackwood Mines. This area of the mine has recently suffered a structural collapse. Please contact Foreman H. Tanner. Refer to map 7A-3 for more details. There is a door back here. Somebody living in the mine? What the hell? Calgary. Billy Bates, Blasting Crew, Northwest Mines, Alberta. Hey, Billy, I had a great time. Look me up if you're ever in Calgary. Loretta. With kisses. So are those pictures of Loretta? As much as you hate Emily, you gotta respect the fact that she's still going strong after everything so far. True. A little bit, but she's... Still, maybe this will teach her not to be such a raging hose beast. Just saying. I'd probably have a lot more empathy for her if she wasn't a raging hose beast. I feel like we're back at the beginning. Oh. Sparkly. fortune. Thank you for following Chewy Barkall. We appreciate it. Welcome to the group. I totally missed that. How's it going? Welcome in. It is a fortune totem. It's Mike. Is he celebrating? We got a little bit more of the events of the past all right so we need to find more totems we have to find more totems this is a scary mine there is something over there What was that? Up, 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 up! No, no, no! Oh! oh what is that? That's not Josh. What is that? I am failing at these quick time events. Oh, 
Oh, you idiot. You know it can break through wood. You are dumb. Alright, we had a uh, almost dead. Almost dead indeed. And she is as dumb as a box of rocks. She stands there in front of the door, knowing it can break through wood. She knew it could break through wood. I am not impressed. <sighs> yeah, you better run. Was not human. M, can you tell us exactly what happened? I am trying to tell you. We were climbing up the tower and it it fell. The whole tower just fell right into the mine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. what mines? There are mines underneath here. Under everything. When the tower fell, we ended up down there. I don't understand. The tower fell? How did it fall? I, I was walking down there in the mines and it was dark and I found this pile and there was Beth's head. Wait, what? Ben's head, I found Oh my god. What the fuck? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. I think they fell down there. Oh, Jesus Christ. But the worst part is I don't think that Hannah died, like, from the fall, not right away. Wait, what? What do you mean? I don't know. I feel like she was down there, like, starving to death for weeks when we were all up here looking for her. We had no idea. Jeez, that's horrible. Listen, in, so... in the tower, there was, there was a radio, and, and I got through to someone, but then that was right when the tower collapsed. Em, you made it. Oh, God, yeah, Mike. Apparently. What about that? We're trying to figure that out. Yeah, and then there was this monster who was chasing her. She's all messed up, guys. Emily? Hey, Em? Whoa. Who's that? Who the fuck is that? Josh. Jess. It's not Jess. I don't know. Just check it out. I got your back. <laughs> I got your back. Who is this? Unless you want me to take a gun. No, no, no. I think that's less good. You do the door. I can. There is still someone out there. Open the goddamn door. Come on. Oh, ha, ha. Hold, Hold on, on there. Hold on. Freeze. Ah, what? All right. Take it easy, Grandpa. Okay, everybody, just calm down. Who is this guy? Go on, move. Say what I came to say. What the hell? I'm here to tell you what you're up against being back on this mountain. You should never have returned. I don't know why you did after what happened last year. You mean with Hannah and Beth? Yeah, how could you know without being in 
at all. Oh, I'm responsible. You hold on to your horses. I don't take kind of you kids coming up here to my mountain. Your mountain? Huh? I'm, I'm sure, sure the Washingtons would be very surprised to hear that. <laughs> well, the mountain don't belong to me, it's true. But it don't belong to the Washingtons. This mountain belongs to the Wendigo. Oh! Oh. When to go? Let's hear about. Oh, that's bad. Now I'm only gonna tell you this once. It doesn't matter to me if you believe it or not. I got. I know that story. Get it off my chest. See? I told you. He's guilty as shit. Guilty as something. Not Mike. There is a curse that it dwells in these mountains. Should any man or woman resort to cannibalism in these woods, the spirit of the Wendigo should be unleashed. Okay. Oh, crap. Until dawn. I ran off and left Josh when I heard something. Where did you leave him? In the shed. Uh, your friend will already be dead. No. No, he can't be. We, we, we were just with him. A lot can happen quickly on this mountain. No. I'm gonna go get him. You can go out there, Chris. I'm supposed to be his best friend, and, and, and I let him down. No, he let you down, Chris. He let all of us down. I don't care. I'm going to get him. I'll go with you. There we go. You go alone, it's suicide. All right. The rest of you, get down to the basement. Be safe. Don't go outside again until we're back. You don't seem to understand the magnitude of the situation. You don't understand the magnitude of the situation. I'm going to get Josh. You're going to help me. Do you understand? Uh... Yeah, I think so. You need I to think so. And do everything I tell you. This guy's totally dead. He's gonna get eaten. This is the end. You point towards the thing you want to kill. I know how to use a shotgun, man. No, you don't. What? How do you know? Trust me, I know. Hey! Come back soon. Aww. We need to hurry, son. See you soon. So, so tell me, you're the expert on these things. What's, uh... What, what's a guy gotta know? Just be careful. You follow my lead. Status update. Well, he got kissed by the girl. I'm guessing that uh, that means Ashley is okay with him. Aw. Chris, since he didn't shoot her, she was concerned about him. So, how many times do I have to shoot him with a shotgun before he's dead? Well, you've been shooting it a long time. You mean this thing won't even kill it? It'll slow it down. down. But how do you kill it? I don't like fire. I don't like fire. They fear it. And it can kill them. If you yeah. have to. Their skin is like... It's Peep. Like Tough top armor? Top. Okay. Burn it off first. It's gross. Well, what, what are these things like? I mean, are they just crazy unpredictable, or... I mean, can you figure out what they're gonna do? Well, they adhere to some pattern. Like any animal. Or human. Like how? You got schedules? Well, they only hunt at night. Um, yep. I didn't ask. I didn't ask. Yeah, you just smell tasty. Anything like that. I can't see you here. Standing still. Like toads. Sight is based on shape. 
Yeah. Oh no. This is the shed. We're all going to die. blood on the ground. Happened. Oh, he's gone. We're too late. Shh. Quiet. I liked Josh. Right now. We gotta find Josh. He can still be out there. <laughs> First, the way we go. He'll render you immobile. And then he strips the skin off of your entire body. Alive and aware and feasts on your organs one piece at a time. So we'll watch that. Yeah. Let's go now. It might still be near. That guy is so dead. Oh, no, let's go back in here and check out and make sure. Like that. Oh, blood and guts. What are you doing? What's this? Ah, forget it. Oh, crap. Anything else? Nope. Fine. I am being very quiet. What is going on? Run! Go! Now! Now! Oh! Back! God damn! Gotta get out of here! Oh! Oh, he's dead. Oh! oh shit. You better run. Come on. Shit. Oh. 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 Well, rip Chris. Oops. Chris! Dead. She's not okay. Her boyfriend. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Ashley is staying single. Hey. Good thing she kissed him before he left. At least he got a kiss before, you know, me, getting his head ripped off. <sighs> is that Josh? That's got to be Josh because she ripped off. Two heads, right? Like Ash, oh my god! Ash, what's wrong? It's... It's not good up there. What, what, what do you mean? Like, where's Chris? Where's Chris? Oh, Chris is no. dead. Oh god, Ash. He didn't... He didn't make it. He was out there. The thing ate him. I, I'm so sorry, Ashley. 
the Wendigo. Yeah. Oh, Christ. all the doors? Yeah. So, they gotta last for... Like, I really don't think that's a good idea. We should stay put right here until dawn. At least we're safe down here. Oh, yeah? All wrapped up like a little present with a bow on top? That thing to tear us apart on Christmas morning? People will come for us in the morning. You don't sound so sure. That is what'll happen, right, Em? Yeah, I, I mean, right? Well, you can wait. I'm leaving. Unless... There's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's gotta have it. Josh? I'm gonna study little tricks. Great, great. That fucking thing got a hold of Josh. Then we're shit out of luck. I don't know, Mike. It's possible. What's possible? It may have taken him down to the mine. What? I saw some horrible stuff down there. I think it's where that thing lives and... Huh. F. What? Fuck it. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. What is all that? It's uh, that old guy's bag. Is that a map? <gasps> that guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> Not quite. What is this place? Oh my god. Wait, 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 what is that? I was down there. It's horrible. You were? You've been in a cave in, in the 50s, I guess, and these miners got trapped in it. Oh my god. Some of them survived, but like 15 of them didn't make it. There was this reporter, and I think he figured out there had been some, like, big cover-up going on. I found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. And I'm not sure what it means, but I found this chair. Dried blood all over the place. Oh. Like somebody that tortured. Michael, I'd like to maybe focus on how we're going to get the fuck out of here, please. I'm just saying, it's weird how much crazy shit's gone on. What's weird is that there's a tunnel leading from the lodge to the sanatorium, see? That's how I got back here. I saw this when I was down there. That's where it lives. Em? Em, what is... Huh? What is that? Ash. Em, oh my god, oh my god, It's, it's oh my nothing, god. it just oh, it, no, it bit no. me and... It bit you? What bit you? The... the Wendigo. What? It's nothing, really. It's well, not a big deal. You okay? Shit. It Zombies. It hurt anymore, really. It's it's not that bad. Em? You're infected. I, I know what you're thinking, and I'm fine. Are you? Yes! Emily, at least let us check it out. Emily, if the Wendigo bit you, you could turn into one of those things. Oh, that's ridiculous. He said it was from eating each other. Remember, he said oh, that. Is that how it works? Yes! It happens if it bit you, you're gonna turn into one and then you're gonna turn on us. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! You can't be down here with us. What? Mike. What? You gotta go. Are you kidding me? You're putting us all in danger. Like hell I am! Emily, you That's can't not how it works. Oh my god, they're so dumb. I don't know if it works like that. Maybe it's just a bite. What is this? Guys, what are you doing? The door's right here. I am letting you do this voluntarily. Oh no, you're just making yourself feel better about sending me to my death since you know there's a Wendigo out there ready to rip me to pieces like it did with- Okay, oh my god, will you just go? Go, get out of okay, here! Okay, Ashley's a bitch too. Whoa, okay. Whoa, 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 Mike, calm down. You're- you're gonna shoot me? Like me? This is the safe room, M. Please. It is not safe as long as you're in it. Not for us. Don't, don't do that. I'm really sorry. No. Nope. Nope. Maybe. For now. Because that is dumb. It's not a zombie. Butterfly effect. Who gets the gun? Mike faced a dilemma. That was the fortune totem. Okay, let's go back and look at the fortune totems because... Okay, yes. That was. You are correct. 
We can make them be better people. They're still pretty trash people. Oh. an eye on her. If you see anything weird, you guys know what to do. Yeah. No one leave. Okay? It's not safe out there. I'll be back soon. Oh. Why? They do stupid things. Cannibalism. Only a few men have dared to hunt the Wendigo. I am the only man who has ever kept them under control. Heed these words. Wait. Fine, I guess I won't read that one. Heed these words or it shall be your death, and your death will not be the last. The Wendigo must be contained. The Wendigo grows out of cannibalism. When a human is desperate and craves food, trapped on the mountains in the fierce winter storms, when he has eaten nothing for many days, the Wendigo spirit will begin to possess him. Even the strongest man is weak to it. He will kill without remorse, often those companions who have traveled with him. He will eat the flesh raw from the corpses. I have seen this happen many years ago, a craving for flesh that cannot be sated. And then the change begins. The eyes turn first and become milky and white. Then the teeth become longer like fangs. The creature grows and the skin is pulled taut across the bones. There was a tribe that lived in these mountains, the Cree. The shamans tell stories of a tall creature, born in ice. The tribe respected... To this. Shut up, I'm reading. Uh, the tribe respected the mountain and all the animals which lived on it. The mountain became sacred to the Cree. Every animal became sacred also. The Cree believed it was bad luck to harm an animal on the mountain and would hunt elsewhere. In 1893, the miners arrived. They found tin and later traces of radium. They mined deep into the sacred mountains. The Cree say that the mountain cried out and the spirit was released. The Wendigo's eyes change. They become sharper, both sharper and more dim. The Wendigo sees movement. Is this it is because the Wendigos are mutated from humans? When they hunt us, they know how to perfectly mimic their prey. The Wendigo sees movement. It is a hunter like a hawk, but it cannot see stillness. If you are to keep totally still, then the Wendigo will not be able to see you. The skin and flesh of the Wendigo are hard like armor. They seem to feel no pain. They cannot be cut or stabbed. Bullets will not pierce their skin, though a shotgun will keep them at bay. Because the Wendigo is mutated from a human, it knows how to hunt us. It can perfectly mimic its prey. You must remain sharp and disciplined. I have killed six Wendigos. Knives or bullets will not harm them. Use a flamethrower. It is the best weapon. Fire envelops them, burns away their skin, and makes them weak. But try not to kill them. Killing a Wendigo should be the last resort. Death releases the Wendigo spirit into the air. I have contained them. I use traps to catch them and fire to drive them into cages. The traps were baited with human limbs from those who had no further use for them. One by one I caught those who had infested the mountain. Yikes. There may be defenses. Shamans wrote of rituals. I have found native artifacts on the mountains and copied them. Totems, bunches of herbs and feathers, I copied their designs. I have tested them out. Out on the mountain, they work. They keep the Wendigo at bay. Not entirely, but enough. But inside buildings, they do not work. Cree legend legends say that the Wendigo grows from the bite of another Wendigo, but the bite is harmless. I have been bitten, but I did not change. The only way is to eat the flesh of another. There is no other way. There you go. That's what you get. Uh, oh, no, 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 what? no, no. What is it? What does it say? It 
says that the bites, it, if it bites you, it's not infectious. It doesn't do anything. Let me see that. Sorry, what did you say? Um, it says she'll be okay. It says what? You're gonna be fine. Fine? Michael almost shot me, is that fine? Didn't shoot you. And this bitch almost let him. That's not fair, she was scared. I'm the one who's scared. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Emily. I didn't know what was going to happen. There's no excuse. No. There's no excuse. There's no excuse, Emily. Please, just try to understand. Understand the palm of my hand, bitch. Whap. I'm sorry. I'm so, 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 so sorry. Shit. Let M in. Got him, Mike. Now. Why? What? Gr oh my God! And they leave the gun there. Oh, Joshua. Now there's trees. Because of your choices, people have died. I don't know which is worse. Actively triggering this must be in his head then to someone's death or possibly allowing tragedy to occur because he couldn't lift a goddamn finger to help someone else why is he covered in blood though remember last year huh Are you left your poor sisters to die you did nothing to help paralyzed by your own self-centered fear while a real threat was closing in. No, it's all about you, John. It's always all about you. Your game has gone terribly wrong. And your friends, like your sisters, have deserted you. You're all alone. But can you feel how cold your loneliness has become? Huh? Why did you hurt them? Joshua, why did you hurt them? Oh, but of course you did. They were your friends. You misled them. You lied to them. You put them through a night of genuine horror. In fairness, they did deserve it. Fine. We're sorry. It's not too late for atonement. We're sorry. And that your friends, if they still are your friends, can save you from the depths of darkness. Is this guy dead? The Wendigo are creepy. I've always found the legend scary. It is. I did hear about the legends of the Wendigo. And they are it is a creepy story. I actually think I said that at the, I talked about that at the beginning when they found the native totem. There was like a little in one of the mines. I guess these miners got trapped down there. It was feathers and a skull. All right, no wait, pause. Thank you for being patient. We are back. All right, here we go. So now we know that Ashley is not going to die and turn, or not Ashley, Emily is not going to die and turn into a Wendigo. Um, Mike didn't shoot her. Chris didn't shoot Mike or shoot Ashley, but he did die. We are down to Matt is dead and Chris is dead. Emily's been bitten, but she's not dead. Um, Ashley is alive. Sam is alive. Josh is kind of not okay mentally, but I believe he's still alive. So, we have status in collectibles. Emily really doesn't like him now. I love that. What about Jessica? We don't know about Jessica. We saw her fall down into the shaft. She could still be alive, I suppose. Although the Wendigo might have already eaten her. Ashley was faced with a dilemma and told the truth. And Emily slapped the crap out of her. Don't blame her. 
all of them do deserve a good slap to be honest you are not wrong swiss jad they do all they are all terrible people i will say that i mean it until the day i die all of them are terrible despair two hours until dawn Are we going to lock it? I guess so. Why did we lock it though? I don't know. Why are we in the sanatorium? Sam isn't horrible. She's probably the best out of all of them. Yeah, and I think I still stand by my belief that Josh is a, an okay person. But that these events have probably driven him slightly insane just a little apparently we can't go that way why are we back in the sanatorium i like sam i hope sam makes it i don't understand why we went back here what is it that we had to do here mike are we looking at the dead bodies what are we doing i guess we're gonna go for a walk He's trying to get back to the mines from the sanatorium but why Oh, to look for Jess. Well, maybe that's an okay reason. No, to get Josh. That's right. He wants the key, the cable car key. He's trying to find Josh. I'm a ditz. Don't mind me. We're going to find anything new now that we're back here, maybe. I think we already looked at that. That was the... Right? I think we looked at this already. 1952... It was the Miracle Men. That's right, the miners. They were not miracles. Is this a new one? <gasps> it's black. We must have already seen it. Which one was that then? That one. That's the one it was. Oh, it's his own death. We got to remember that. Don't use the lighter, Mike. What happened to the wolves? Apparently we can't leave through the main door. We're going to die. A shotgun. We will take that. Take take the gun. Take the gun. What are you doing? There's a what are you doing? Take the shotgun. Heck yeah. Where are the wolves? Why are they gone? Maybe he lets them out? A shotgun axe would be better. Can we leave that way now? Nope. You idiot, but okay. There's a wolf. Hey, big guy. Happy to see you again, huh? Hey. I was hoping I'd run into you again. Alright. Good boy. Yay, his face didn't get eaten up because we were nice to the dog. Alright. Mwah. Big puppers. Just a really big puppers. With really big teeth. This is what happens when you're nice to a wolf. Oh shit. What is going on? Adobe boy, calm down. It's up there, it's gonna eat you. Oh no. Oh no. So he doesn't, the, the flamethrower guy doesn't kill them. He just keeps them contained. And Mike's gonna go let them all out at the sanatorium, isn't he?
that moves. Don't I, Wolfie? See, I trusted him in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. That backfired. Now I've learned my lesson. Detention area. Oh, look at the walls. Blackwood Sanatorium. Initial report, the patients were first admitted to Blackwood's medical facility five days ago. During this time, we have run a number of tests, both psychological and physiological. The results have been extraordinary in contravention of common medical expectations. Symptoms observed, pallor, skin dispigmentation, severe vitamin D deficiency, social dysfunction longer than average readaption period post-traumatic event, interpersonal behavior erratic, violence toward orderlies, three attempted assaults, one attempted scratching, symptoms expected but not observed, malnutrition slash scurvy, average quetlet index was only within 3% of normal expected range, they should be dead, frostbite, Patient stimulus response within acceptable bounds. On reverse, frailty, weakness, distension of tibia, fibia, and humerus. Observed unusual growth in strength. One patient lifted 725 pound weights. Suggested action, place under observation. Restraint strongly recommended. Change from one orderly to three orderlies. 24 hour a day uh, observation. So they were growing. Oh, it's the other wolf. Oh, son of a bitch. Aww. Poor thing. Whoa. Huh. These doors were built like tanks. How crazy were these inmates? Shackles, blood on the wall. Let us out. We are starving, freezing. I will make you pay. Stop testing us now. There is blood all over the walls. 